before we get into today's video, everyone make sure to go and drop our new project, 1864 Reds, a follow on Twitter and Instagram. They'll be on the screen now and they will be in the description down below. It's an exciting project that I cannot wait to reveal to you. Follow on Twitter and Instagram to keep updated for when we release more updates because trust me, you do not want to miss these updates. They are huge. But on to today's video. Yeah, it's a special one. We've made two new signings for XMFC today. Who would have thought a week before the season starts, we've added two new players to the squad, which is brilliant. One being striker Sam Dolby from South End United and the other being left back Jacob Mendy Mendy from Boreham Wood. Both players have come from us from uh, different National League clubs. So we're going to be talking about signing number one, which was Sam Dolby. It was announced around midday today that the striker became our fifth edition this summer, having joined from South End United on an undisclosed fee. The 22-year-old joins on a two-year deal, which for me is it's all right, but I'd have thought we'd have given him a three-year deal, but not that that matters at all. We said he joins on an undisclosed fee, but there's also another twist in this deal. Jake Hyde, as part of the transfer package, has been sent on loan to Southend United for the remaining season that is left on his contract. Like we said, his contract runs out after this season, so has he been shipped out to Southend United just to get game time? And then, who knows, it'll be potluck. If he does really well, we might extend his contract, but... You know, if he enjoys his football there and does well again, we might let him go. Then he might join Southend on a permanent. So, yeah, like I said, Hyde was part of that package. I am a bit upset to see him go because we didn't really get to see much of him. He was injured for the majority of the season. I think on his day, he was really good. And when we first signed him, you know, we all thought he was going to tear at the division. But injuries just got the better of him, which was a massive shame. So, like we said, Sam Dolby has joined on an undisclosed fee. My guess for this is... Is probably going to be around 70, 80,000 because we've got to remember he's only 22 and he's obviously got a load of space to improve in the future. He's got definitely got a bright future ahead of him. He was Southend's key striker last year as he did score nine goals in just over 40 games, which, you know, is not a bad record. And I think we've signed him sort of to be used as a backup to Mullen and Palmer. But again, we've got more information on him. He's got a 15% goal conversion, which is higher than the average National League striker. And he wins 38% of his aerial duels. So, you know, he's good scoring, finishing in the back of the net, and he's good in the air. If Palmer ever gets injured, Dolby can be used as a target man and as a poacher, which I think is great. And obviously, Southend fans saying, oh, it's a bad signing, don't know why you signed him. We've got one of the best scouting people that you could get in football in Les Reed, you know. He wouldn't just sign a player for the sake of it. He's obviously seen something in Dolby that he could work on and improve at Rex and become a really good striker. I think we sort of all saw this coming because Dolby was at the friendly match against Macclesfield on Saturday. So yeah, this was sort of a done deal before it was even announced. But like we said, it's a good signing. I'm glad that we've managed to get it across the line because who knows... There were those fake rumours saying Hyde didn't want to go to Southend and stuff. But yeah, I didn't look like it was ever going to be in doubt. Dolby, I think he's probably going to be one of the better backup strikers in this division. And like we said, he can easily slot into that striker role if you get a suspension or injury. And we've heard he can play in that number 10 role as well. So yeah, welcome to the club, Sam Dolby. We cannot wait to see you play and be involved in the game on Saturday against Eastleigh. And on to the next signing, which is Jacob Mendy. The wing back from Boreham Wood, we've signed him on a three-year deal and an undisclosed fee. This is incredible. Two signings in one day. I'm really happy to see Jacob Mendy get the deal across the line because there was speculation. Obviously, it was only like 24 hours ago that the deal wasn't going to go through. And he sort of hinted on Twitter that there were some complications in the deal and stuff. And the Boreham Wood chairman was overpricing him, etc, etc. So we're glad to see it over the line. We were told that Jacob Mendy was at the race course today with its agents to finalise the deal. So, yeah, everything seems to have done well. And, yeah, I'm really happy to see him here. Obviously, Mendy, we know he's good in the final third. He's got nine goals for Wealdstone and then he left last season to Boreham Wood where he got eight assists, two goals. So he's certainly a threat going forward. And if he can be really good defending-wise as well, and can do a solid job at left back. I think we've got an incredible player on our hands. It's interesting as well to see we've signed another left back to rival McFadden because obviously Mendy and McFadden completely different players. 
Um, so it will be interesting to see who Parkinson sorry, will favourite more. Will it be McFadden? He'll obviously he's managed at multiple clubs, been brought in to wherever Parkinson's gone. Or will it be Mendy, our new signing? The Wrexham fans sort of have gathered a picture of what he's like. Obviously, he did well against us this season for Boreham Wood. And we know of him in the past when he scored a world against us for Wealdstone. So, yeah. It's a good sign nonetheless, and whether he's a backup or a first-teamer, I think we've got a great player on our hands. Both Mendy and Dolby said they're excited to be part of the project that is going ahead at Wrexham FC, which is always great to see. And one thing I do want to point out as well is the fact that this season, although it would have been incredible to go for players in League 1 and League 2, you know that we have them. I'm glad Parkinson's gone for players that have played in this league before, experienced in this league, so they know and get a good taste of what it's like to play in the National League. That's what I really rate for Parkinson in this chance of window. I think that he's sort of done that logically very well there. Let me know what you think on these two signings down below. Two players from the National League, two players on undisclosed fee. Combined fee, I would expect to be around £200,000. Obviously, we know the Bournemouth chairman overpricing Mendy. Have we gone that one step further to get his services in? And have we paid quite a fair few amount of money for him we will never know because they'll obviously never be released but yeah glad to see it get finally across the line and cheers and yeah let me know like i said what you think in the comment section down below go and follow 1864 reds everything will be in the description down below and go and follow me on instagram and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one take care